Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope that you're all having a fantastic start to the new year. I hope that you all manage to get some well-deserved rest over the holidays. I feel really good and positive about this year. It did take me a little while to get into 2023, which is why my first video of this year is the middle of January. <laughs> but now that we are well and truly into the new year, I am ready to get stuck in and create content. For my first video of the new year, I thought I would share a couple of new winter items that I've got. I want to say recently, but it's kind of over the period of like the last two months. The first couple of pieces are from W Concept. They aren't sponsoring this video, but they did reach out to me and offer to send me a couple of items. So I chose a few things which I think you guys will really like. If you haven't heard of W Concept, they are an online store that stock loads of independent Korean designers. I have shopped on there before. If you've seen me in my beloved trench coat that I honestly wear all the time, that is from W Concept. I bought that maybe last year or the year before now, I can't even remember. But I wear that trench coat all the time and I love it so much. So when they emailed me and like they know of me, I was just kind of like, what? <laughs> so yeah, I picked out a few items that um, I think you guys will enjoy. I also got a couple of items in the winter sale, which I will have at the end of this video. So let's just dive in. So the first piece that I want to show you is this absolutely gorgeous coat. It is this really soft material that is 90% um, wool and 10% cashmere. And it's this kind of really big wrap coat, quite an oversized fit. It's actually only one size. So for me, someone who is only five foot two, it is quite oversized. But I personally prefer an oversized fit on coats because then you can wear lots of thick jumpers underneath. To be honest, when I first saw the photo, I immediately thought that it looked exactly like Totem's signature coat, which is kind of why I chose it because I think that coat is so timeless and just minimal and perfect, honestly, just perfect. But what's great about this coat that the Totem coat doesn't have is that there's an extra down layer inside that you can unbutton um, and button on and off. So when it's really, really cold, so like in December, we had a week of snow. It was minus degrees. I needed this layer, <laughs> really, really needed this layer. And it was just so good to have that like extra warmth in this coat. And it's quite a thin down layer as well. So it doesn't add too much extra bulk. And I just love that I can take off this layer so that in the springtime or even autumn time, I can still wear this coat and be warm. I just think it's such a timeless design that you will reach for for years and years to come. It's not something I personally think will go out of style and I just love it. So the next piece that I chose from W Concept is this black hobo handbag. Um, it is 100% leather and it's such a great everyday handbag size in my opinion. So my gauge for a good everyday size is, does it fit my Kindle and does it fit a water bottle? And this bag fits both. I mean, as well as all your other things, such as like keys, phone, etc. Because it's a sort of hobo style bag and it doesn't have a lot of structure to it, I would definitely say that this is a casual day bag. Something that I actually found was missing in my own sort of collection of handbags. I think a lot of my bags are quite structured, um, whereas this is just a great sort of throw on, hold everything and just easy, easy bag. I really like the white stitching on it. I think that makes a really nice sort of contrasting detail. And also the zips are really easy to use, which I think is very key in a handbag. You don't want to be sort of fiddling around too much, getting things in and out, and the zips are very smooth. So this bag does also come in brown, but of course I went for black. Surprise, surprise. I love the color black and 2023 is gonna be the year that I stop apologizing for it. The last piece I have from W Concept, which I know that you guys are gonna love, is this jacket from the brand Low Classic. It is a sort of cropped, 
tweed, almost boucle type fabric in this cream color with gold buttons. And I love it. I mean, I've actually been following this brand, Low Classic, for a while, but I haven't um, bought anything from them. And I just think this is the perfect first piece for me to have in my wardrobe from this brand. They do a lot of quite like classic tailored pieces and for me this is just the epitome of like what I want my style to be. This jacket is cropped which is perfect for us petite girls. It kind of hits at the perfect place for where your trousers are if you wear like high-waisted trousers like I do a lot of the time. I can't wait to wear this with jeans and loafers to wear it kind of casually every day but equally of course you can dress it up. I think whatever you wear this with will immediately kind of elevate any of your outfits. You will see me in this jacket a lot um, this winter but also I can see it also going into spring and summer as well so I think this is a really really great jacket. So moving on to some wintry items that I got when we were in minus degrees over the December. The December? Over December. I decided to invest in a scarf and I say invest because this scarf was pretty pricey for what it is. It is a wool and cashmere scarf from Totem and for me personally, I don't love scarves. I know some people love like a big chunky scarf. That is just not for me. I find them a little bit annoying. <laughs> like they get tangled in your hair. They take up so much space. So for me, this is exactly what I wanted, <laughs> which is just a strip of double-faced um, wool and cashmere in just a plain, strip of fabric and it is exactly what I was looking for. Some people may call it boring, for me it is minimalist perfection. <laughs> so lastly for winter accessories I got a pair of gloves or I suppose you could call them fingerless mittens. I'll put them on. So I wanted a pair of gloves but I didn't want a pair of like glove gloves that cover your fingers because I find it quite cumbersome when you're trying to use your phone or your camera which I knew I wanted to do a lot of during <laughs> December so I think I literally just googled fingerless mittens or sheepskin fingerless mittens and this was maybe the first or like second search result that came up on Google they are from an, an English brand called Dent or Dents. I'll obviously link everything in the description box. Um, and when I was looking, they were having um, a Black Friday sale. So I got these on quite a nice discount. To be honest, I was quite skeptical on how warm these would keep my hands because obviously they are fingerless but they actually did help a lot, which I was quite surprised about. Obviously not as much as if you were to wear like proper gloves, but I prefer to have my finger dexterity. And so I'm happy with this purchase. I don't live in conditions where I require to have my fingers covered up all the time. So yeah, another happy purchase for winter. If you have been watching my channel for the past few months, then you will know that I have been on a journey to find a pair of knee-high boots. I've tried And Other Stories, Massimo Duty, Suzanne. I bought a pre-loved pair from Chanel on Vestiaire for an absolute steal. They were 350 pounds, um, but unfortunately, none of those fit or there was something not quite right. Um, I My calves are slightly bigger than average, I would say, and so a lot of kind of boots on the market don't fit. <laughs> but I finally ordered a pair that fit and I really, really like them. So they are these boots and they are from Flattered. I think these are called the Francis boots. And what was really helpful on the Flattered website is that they actually stated what the circumference <laughs> of the uh, boot shaft was, which was very, very helpful. So I measured my leg and figured that these would fit. I ordered them 
and they do. I went for my usual size in these, however I will say that they do fit quite big in the feet. So if you are in between sizes, I would definitely go down. I've put some sheepskin insoles at the bottom so now they fit perfectly or you could wear like thick socks. Um, and yeah, I love them. I finally found a pair that fit me and I'm really, really happy with them. So moving on to some sale purchases now and I picked up a pair of redone jeans. It's always a huge win to me when you can pick up basics on sale and I always wait for the sale time to purchase redone or frame or a goldie. Those sort of higher end denim brands they always, always go on sale. So I think it's just worth waiting for that because they go down to like 50% or more sometimes. So yeah, I don't think I've ever bought a pair of redone jeans full price. So these are the redone stovepipe jeans. I have a pair in a lighter blue wash um, that have like a rip at the knee. I got those maybe two years ago and I absolutely love the cut of them. I think the stovepipe jeans for my particular frame and body type, I have like a small waist but bigger thighs I would say. I think these are such a flattering cut because they have a little bit of stretch in them. So the waist is still tight and they're tight over your thighs but then the cut of them is straight down so they don't cling to your calves and they actually elongate your legs because they're also really really high waisted and they just yeah they make your legs look longer and slimmer which is something as a five foot two girl i'm always striving for so next in my sale items i got these cream leather trousers from a goldie these are in their 90s pinch waist cut and i think they're quite similar to the redone jeans that i showed you where they are quite tight at the waist, hence the name, I guess, 90s pinch waist. Um, and then they're very straight down the leg. I absolutely love these trousers. I think leather trousers are such an autumn winter staple. I have a pair of black faux leather trousers. And so I'm really excited to kind of add these sort of cream ones into my wardrobe. I love that you can just style them basically as jeans and they kind of elevate your outfits. Um, they provide a little bit more warmth because they're thicker than jeans. And yeah, they just add a nice bit of texture, something a bit different. So I'm really excited to style these for winter. I think they're a really great addition to a sort of capsule wardrobe because they go with everything. Um, I do need to get them shortened. Again, five foot two life, what else is new? But I'm excited to get wearing these. So the next item that I got on sale is this cardigan from Nili Lotan. And this is a brand that I browse and I admire from far away because I can't really afford it on a normal day. Despite being 60% off, it was still quite an expensive purchase. This cardigan was 220 pounds on sale which to be honest is the price of like good quality high street items these days. It is 100% wool. It is really, really soft on your skin and just such a classic piece. I love the knit of this cardigan. It's actually kind of inspiring me to like learn how to knit. That's one of my <laughs> goals this year is to learn how to knit. And um, so I was really excited when I got this in the post and I tried it on. It's just a really easy piece to wear and I think that's what my channel and my style is all about, just pieces that you can throw on and wear and makes getting dressed simple. So the last item that I picked up on sale are these loafers from the brand Le Grez. I think that's how you say it. Um, they are a London-based brand that make really just like modern classic shoes that I've browsed a lot in the past but never sort of tried before and these were I think these were like 50 or maybe 60% off so I 
snap them up as quickly as possible. They also come in black and I think the black are also on sale. So if you want a black pair, I'll link them below as well. But I decided to go for this sort of dove gray color because a lot, actually all of my loafers um, are black already. And I've been looking for a pair of lighter colored loafers. I was thinking maybe I wanted a pair of like cream leather loafers, but cream leather shoes just doesn't shout pro productive, that's not the word, practical. <laughs> They're not very practical. So I've gone for this sort of darker gray shade, um, which I'm really, really happy about. They are incredible quality. They're made in Italy and they just have like a good solidness about them. You know that they are a really, really well-made shoe. I don't know how much wear I'll get out of them in winter, if I'm being perfectly honest, because you know, it's cold, but definitely once spring hits and we get to maybe like 15 degrees and upwards, I'm definitely gonna be wearing these a lot. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up as Apparently it helps with the YouTube algorithm or something like that. I create videos about minimal style, getting the most out of your wardrobe, and how to style basic pieces. My videos go up every Friday and next week's video will be a winter styling video, so subscribe so that you don't miss it. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one. Bye! Bye.